Hello there guys, a very warm welcome aboard for another YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Northern Princess and welcome to the Derwent Value Line by Just Trains. So today we're going to be doing a first look at the route. This is something I haven't, well I have played it slightly but I'll point it as far as I've played. So, um, there, yeah, so we're going to be doing this today. Um, the route's in an add-on for the Midland Main Line. So you can see the track starts up here at Matlock and runs um, and then drones the Main Line after Ambergate. Continuing on to Ambergate, Belper, Duffield, and Derby. So doing the a full run from um, as part of 2 November 5 1, the Matlock to New York Castle. So we're doing the full run from um, Matlock down to uh, Derby. I'm just going to quickly prepare my cab. So one of the things I'm going to point out as we get going, I had to, I've had to record this video twice because I don't normally play on full settings. And this area here, I actually had a hole in the world where these rocks were because um, I was at two notches below max settings, which is a fairly reasonable level to play at, in my opinion. Um, but the game, but it basically, the, the way the route was set, it would have removed that level of scenery. So I think that this, uh, now that is, this is a pet peeve I do want to get out of the way because this is something that seems to be common to a lot of JT routes, going back as far as even the SDML. Oh, the de uh, yeah, the sorry, yeah, the definite uh, the um, you know, when they did Exeter to Plymouth, um, you know, I remember the on the Riviera line, the cliffs had holes in them if you weren't playing on full settings, um, and that's just something you know, and that that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. But ran ran over basically. Let's get right into the actual journey itself. As of late, I believe the Derwent Valley has suffered from quite a bit of flooding, but uh, that's not simulated in games, so we're going to just enjoy the journey. Do you want to get a screenshot? I love this clutter and this sort of dynamic rubbish. Not, not dynamic, it's not dynamic, but you know what I mean. I'm going to use this from a screenshot, I think. I want it coming out into the light. Um, I'm going to use the bridge shot. Bridge shots are always good shots. But looking around though, again, I love the level of detail that, that's gone to here, like even the speed signs. I like that a lot, actually. I do, I do. I'd question whether there'd be one there because yeah, actually, you'd probably just about see that. No, I do like the level of detail that, that's been gone to here, and stuff that you can see from the cab. Or just use for screenshots. Let's go up to line speed now. So our next stop is Matlock Bath, in a little under a mile. I do have Clag turned up on the 156 at the moment, just because... Who doesn't like a, bit, a good bit of clag? I am going to be hopefully recording a route learning video on this route in the not too distant future. Probably do my notes for it tonight actually. And in this video we're not going to drive as far as Derby, we're going to drive as far as Belper, which is about, about a 20 minute drive. Um, now this route is available as an add-on um, to the middle of the main line. That immediately we got plunged into darkness there. Must be a nicely curved tunnel. Okay, let's go into Matlock Bath Station. The Derwent Valley route is definitely very picturesque and I'm actually really quite excited for the precedent this is set. So we know with the West Main Lines route, just trains made quite an expanse at that but really with didn't they? Uh, starting off with the West Main Lines which led from I'm actually gonna pause here. From uh, London to Exeter and Cardiff and then adding the, the Devon in line which led out as far as um, is Plymouth and then on to Penzance with the Cornish main lines. The reason I'm pausing to have a look at this is I've actually been here in the real world and I've been on this cable car. It doesn't do particularly well. Yeah, the Heights of Abraham. Uh, it doesn't do particularly well with um, RW Enhancer enabled, which I always have turned on in my videos. I'd question whether that's been baked. I'm going blind looking at it, it's so bright. Is it animated? 
No, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, let's stop here at Matlock Bat Station. This actually reminds me a lot of the Light District. Oh, that station architecture is very different. The Derbyshire Wildlife Trust with the Whistle Stop Cafe. Oof, that's nice. A lot of screenshot opportunities here, which would be interesting to play with. The Heights of Abraham, Way Out. That look definitely looks like Northern Branding as well. That Way Out sign just immediately reminded me of the Northern logo, which t the, 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 on the day of recording when it... Um, Cease to exist. Lol. <laughs> cool. Let's do the pull away. I'm going to grab the screenshot as it comes past. EMR Regional. Cool. Next station is Cromfield. A little over half a mile. They're actually quite a challenging route to keep the time on because I've already failed on time in this grounds, but I'm not going to complete this the run, so I'm not too concerned. This is very interesting. I'm, I'm actually really quite enjoying just driving today, or driving these today. It's also quite nice that it's tunnels that are obviously capable of being dual tracked but just due to the nature um, of the train. I do have the headlight on by the way, it's just not very effective. Oh, we're driving through a black hole, I'm not sure. There's Cromford Station. Which, why are we running a minute and a half late? How? I'm obviously nowhere near aggressive enough in terms of my, my braking for this route. Cromford, I love that bridge. I'm just going to use that as one of my candidates. That's actually really cool. A little 101, 158. Austerity, I think. Obviously you can tell someone's been along here and taken these pictures. 156! Look, it's my train! So you can see, it's actually really good. So we're down at Cromford now, so we're going to go past what Sandwell, Ambergate, and then join the main line at Belper. That's actually proper cool. Okay, so I'm going to come and do the, the drive-by image. So many screens, so many opportunities. So so many screenshot opportunities. Let's try and get a nice high up image. Like that. That looks crap. Got three miles to Watts Tangwell. We're due there in, in about three minutes from now. Wow, okay, that's a stutter and a half. EMR region. I love the map. As I mentioned, I love the, um, the, the, the fact that it's just, it's just the EMR regional stencil. I think when AP actually released this, they had, they had, I think it was within a few days <coughs> of the first of these appearing um, in EMR livery that they actually managed to, to do the application and get it into the um, 
into the pack. So, you know, I think this Times AP definitely deserves some criticism, but that's one where they pulled it out of the pack, in my opinion. Try and open a drink. Keep my lips well watered as I'm talking to you guys today. I do definitely enjoy driving like, you know, like this. Uh, you know, getting some speed up on a single track lines. It's very rewarding. Actually, rewarding is the wrong, the wrong uh, word. I just I think I don't just like this route, or this sort of driving, I guess, on single tracks with you know, trees either side. I think I like it. You, you know, even even when I'm driving, I like this sort of scenery. Why well, is zipping along through the countryside? So got some water treatment over there. I do like the blend of 3D trees and 2D trees. I think 2D trees are a little too close to the track. And that's a weird effect, but I think that's going to be um, with the audio enhancer to line. Standwell Station. Hmm. And that, it's Ambergate, so 3.19 miles. That's when I'll. Actually, it's Ambergate's rejoining the line, so just after Ambergate, so I'll end it. I think for me, with this video, the key is to look at the route, give an honest appraisal. For eight, this, this route, by the way, is, is £8, or £7.99 to be precise. I paid a little bit less, just because I had some JT points accrued. I definitely enjoy driving it, um, or, I, or I am enjoying driving it, I think. You know, the way I sort of work out my, you know, whether a DLC is worth it to me, is <coughs> um, I work out my time, at my hourly rate from work. So we'll, we'll call that minimum wage for most people, to, to make this applicable to as many people as possible, which is £7.70 an hour for people of my age in the UK. So. If I get an own a little bit worth of fun out of this, then it's been money well spent. And I think I'm going to get a lot more than that, so money well spent. I would question how flat the route is. That's the one thing I find surprising. It's the Derwent Valley line. Now, I know it's not like a, um, a canyon, but at the same time, I do think, or, you know, it's a steep valley, I do think it probably be a little bit steeper than this. But again, I've, I've not actually researched this route much, so I can't really say. Hmm. I hope you guys had a good day. Mine's been quite relaxing. I've got quite a bit done today. Um, recorded the first look for um, Oakville. Yeah quite a bit done. Went out, so, sorted some stuff out when I was out and about. Got a new hoodie. How to tell you're old. You get excited over a new hoodie. It's a Disney brand new one, okay? I like it. And you can all fight me. Ooh, what's that? 1884 to 1984. That must be the 100 year commemoration of the Derwent Valley route. Grab that angle. I've got to say I'm a bit underwhelmed with what's down to station. I do like this bridge I set though. This is the s again. That doesn't look like. I think that might be my RW enhancer doing things to it because this side looks fine. Yeah, that's could be a RW. No. Nope. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's river detail missing on parts of the wrong side. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd have to... Logically... Uh, 
but no, I do like that design of bridge, and that's a canal here. I love the fact that I've got the detail. You can see the canal at the bottom of the canal. You can see like, the, the weeds growing in it. I like the detail. In fact, there's a, the tractor with the rotor on the back waiting for us. First of all, I like the detail of having stuff growing in the track. I just think it's a little bit too low res to have so close to the player. That's there's these scenery assets. And the way they're placed does doesn't look right to me. Um, I would probably prefer to have some like nettles maybe or like little bits of tufts of grass. You know, that just looks like shoddy scenery placement. When you give it a, a closer look. And I know it's probably like that in the real world, but just the way it's done doesn't reflect what, you know, the, the fact that it just looks like some spam clips. Um, the, the, the plants out and that they've somehow ended up on the track and then they've forgotten to remove them. I had Friday off as well this week just because I needed a day off just to get caught up on everything. And I'm now thinking it's Sunday night even though it's Saturday and I'm like, I need, oh, I'm, I'm like in my head I'm starting to think about work tomorrow. <laughs> even though I know that's definitely not the case. Is, I quite like this route. Um, so yeah, my, my opinions as we draw to the to a close of the video. Is it a good route? Yes. Are there points that could be improved on? Definitely. Um, and I'm gonna. I am actually gonna contact uh, JT support. So no, not, not no one. No one from JT probably watches this video, but I do want to make my suggestions to them. Um, that looks strange. So I'm gonna. Um, you know, obviously things are pointing out like the lot issues. To me, that's far from great. Let's use that phrase. Oh god, that wasn't meant to be what I was going with. So yeah, the lot issues definitely aren't, aren't particularly acceptable. The plants that that could just all that all that would take would be a better asset. Um. But apart from those two issues, I actually think it's a really nice route. Definitely if it was a standalone, I wouldn't recommend it. But the fact that it's a bolt-on to an already existing route, I think it does give a nice expansion to what you can do. Um, and I think that is definitely something, you know, that not, not to be frowned upon, put it that way. Got another poster there for the, the line. And then we've rejoined the main line south of Ambergate.
So that's well, we can actually look at the GSMR now that we're here. Oh, Sheffield St Pancras. Hang on, what's that train? What note the train is? HST. With with VPs, nice. Let's let's, let's uh, do the drive past. I'll log into the GSMR before we, we join the mainline network. Oh, uh, that's in Eastmead's train delivery, which I guess we don't have an alternative to that. We've just officially released. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. Okie doke. Let's um, get logged in here, and then we'll we'll quickly just pause the game. Signal five seven seven. So two November five one I'm against five seven seven currently. Let's get that logged in. There we go, all logged in. So now good to join the network. So that's the first signal we've passed in today's video, or, or approaching I should say. We'll complete this run here, and then um, we'll, so we'll move, so we, we've officially covered the entire line, and then um, I'll end it there. But yeah, once again, my thoughts though, yeah, definitely a nice route. Uh, is it worth the 7.99? Actually, yeah, I think it is. Um, I think it adds a lot, and I'm, I'm going to probably make some mini scenario packs for this. Probably just do like works trains and stuff, just for a bit of randomness. But it's just going to be a case of you know making sure about doing it when I have the time to do it, to have the other dev stuff that I need to want to get done out of the way. Yeah. I think this track was originally here, as was Amgate Station, but I'm not going to chance it. I think actually back in the early 2000s, uh, when Midland Mainline used to run 170s up here, um, the at uh, that taxi that, but the wonderful detail further up the route, but that's just could be done a bit better, I think. And that terrain bleeds, not not as nice. But again, it's not stuff you'd normally see out of the cab, so that's something I'm sort of more or less willing to forgive. Um, yeah, so they used to run 170 Matlock for, on like direct services to St Pancras, which I, I find kind of strange. Oh yeah, that back at Beyond Station, yeah, that one that gets direct service to St Pancras, yeah. Or to London. So yeah, I think we've definitely covered the full length of the extra route now. But no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did too. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to see more from me on an increasingly regular basis. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.